Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Train Sim Classic. Today we're down at Nottingham on the Just Trains Midland Main Line. And uh, we're in this class, oh look, class 158 over there. Uh, we're in this cross-country livery at class 170. Cross-country at Nottingham. You must be on a Cardiff service, you must be on a Birmingham service, but alas not. You'll see we've got these nice EMR regional branding uh, vinyls on the side here. This is 170, oh hang on, there's a fence in the way. 170638 which I do believe has been on loan. I don't know if it still is. It might have only been there for a short time. The fact they've not livered it up would suggest it's not going to be here for a long time. But today we are working an East Midlands railway service from Nottingham. We're going to be going towards Liverpool. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Why can't we have... There we go. We're all sorted. Uh, yeah, there we go. So... Uh, this is a scenario by Magic Toad. There is a link in the description. We're going to be taking a cross-country hiring 17638 from Nottingham to Sheffield on the first part of a service to Liverpool Lime Street. Your schedule is as follows. Nottingham, Ilkeston, Alfreton, Chesterfield, Dromfield and Sheffield. So it's just less than an hour, 55 minutes. Hopefully it's going to be a really nice run. We don't need to have our DRA on because, uh, of course, we've got a nice green signal. Now, uh, yeah, obviously this should be an East Midlands Railway service, but since 2022, uh, they have seen... Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Lovely. We'll just put the DRA on, because uh, I do like to have the DRA on. Have we got, uh, have we got some nice, nice destinations? Let's see if we can have Liverpool on. I don't know if the cross-country will. Hopefully it will. Uh, come on. The hunt's cross, so it should have Liverpool, shouldn't it? Liverpool Lime Street, there we go, look at that. It's going to Liverpool, isn't it? Yeah, 7.45 in the morning. Oh, cross country's off. Where's he off? I didn't know they go... Oh, yeah, of course, they, did, did they go further? I don't know. Oh, not in service, maybe he's just shunting out then. It's one with the uh, with the big the big doodars, because some of them have little ones like this, look. Little, little what's-its, and then other ones, if you look at this one here... Have, have big ones. Yeah, I don't really know why they changed the design. Obviously, it's just a facelifted, uh, facelifted version. I've always been a fan of the 170. I know that they're painfully slow, um, but yeah, I really, really do like the 170 uh, to travel on, uh, on train sim to drive. I think it's a lovely train. Um, I know that the cabs aren't particularly big, and from a guarding point of view, there was uh, potential to trap your hands. I can't remember why. Um, yeah, apparently a bit of an odd unit, but uh, in terms of working them as a guard from the cab. But uh, but yeah, I've, I've never had to work one. I've never worked one as a guard. Um, but as a passenger, I think they're lovely. Some of you will probably say, oh yeah, I, I like a 170. And others will probably hate them. They do seem to be a bit of a Marmite unit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've always been a bit of a fan of them. Right, we are ready to go now. I don't know if he's got it set up so that the doors will close uh, Let's have a look. Ah, yeah, depart at 7.44, so you should have it so the doors close 30 seconds prior to departure. That is one thing I really do like about uh, Mr. Magic Toad's scenarios. The doors always close before 45, so you get a nice uh, a nice on-time start. This is where he doesn't, and I look a fool. There we go, look, 20 seconds. So we'll pop that in, uh, in drive, in forward. In drive, for goodness sake, it's not an automatic car. And away we go. Now, we are actually running to a time, of course. Sometimes I know if you're going to be late, it doesn't have uh, a time to be somewhere. Right, here we go. Oh, there we go. We'll just make sure we don't go above 15. Now, this is very peculiar, isn't it? Coming out here, I know we've had a green signal, but just coming towards all these red signals here. Oh, it, it just doesn't sit right, does it? Just makes you think, oh, did I did I read that properly? Did I not? I suppose it doesn't matter, because if you were going to crash into something, you'd see it on the platform, wouldn't you? Unless it was coming towards you. But, I mean, at 15 mile an hour, surely, uh, you should be able to stop in time so that there's no collision. It's actually somewhere that I've never been on the train, it's Nottingham. It's uh, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because there's there's like so many reasons that I have to go to Nottingham. But uh, yeah, never been on the train. I've been down to Derby, around Leicester that way. But uh, yeah, never, never, ever been down to Nottingham. Something I really should do at some point, isn't it? It looks like a nice place from uh, from the train. 
But then again, I guess in Train Simulator anywhere can be made to look a nice place, can't it? Apart from the uh, the South Wales coastal line where they put all the rubbish in the track, just after Cardiff, you know where I mean? What was it on the way out to Port Talbot Parkway, I think? Uh, there was just all the rubbish in the track. Like, hmm, doesn't look that nice here, to be honest with you. Right, full steam ahead. Well, notch five ahead. Oh, we'll whack it into notch seven and up at best. Let's get up to speed. So, Ilkeston, just under eight and a half miles away. First stop, it's, uh, flipping neck, is it 15 minutes to Ilkeston? I didn't know it was that far apart. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look through here at the moment. So, if you're not too familiar where we're going, we've come out of Nottingham. We're going to be going down this line here, which I believe is the Eelwash Valley, and, uh, and up towards Chesterfield and Sheffield, which is just at the top here. So we've got quite a bit to go. At Sheffield we then change ends and make our way back along the Hope Valley. So uh, obviously the Hope Valley line is not complete yet for Train Simulator, but hopefully it will be soon. I don't have a release date for that. I'd, uh, I'd absolutely love Just Trains to send us a copy so that we could show it to you, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if Just Trains do send copies out. I might have to send them a little email and see what they say. Little begging email, like, ooh, come on, guys, let's have a nosy. Flipping it, there's cross country 170s everywhere today, isn't there? That's not a cross country one, that's an East Midlands Railway one. Right, so we've got, uh, it's a little bit difficult to tell from the from this, but I think that's a 30 and a 40 together. So uh, we'll, we'll just plod round here. We've got a yellow signal coming up, so we'll treat that as if we're stopping altogether. And we'll just break for 30. Nice and straightforward. But I think we'll have... Is it a red up ahead? There's a green there. That would be very peculiar. Oh yeah, there is a green. Maybe there was another unit, like, crossing over at the junction. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll just break down to 30. And plod. Yeah, it is a green signal, isn't it? So, uh, oh, well, that's good and least, at least. It's weird how we, we kind of go up to 50, then we're down to 30, then we're more or less... I mean, I don't really get this. It's it's 30 just for this little bridge. Then we're up to 40, but then we're back down to 35, back up to 50, and then up to 80. It's, it's a very kind of weird... You'd think that you're just kind of stuck at one speed. Well, we may as well just go to 35. I don't think the turbo starts fast enough to get us up to... Uh, to 40 and back down, is it? There we go, we'll, uh, we'll, well, we'll just sit at that then. So what have we got here then? If I, uh, if I have a look on the map, where are we actually going? Ah, we're going round to the left. Ah, okay, that's why. So we're going round to the left here. I haven't a clue where that goes. Maybe up to Lincoln, possibly? Maybe? I'm not sure. Let's have a nose. Where, where might that go? Oh no, because is, is that Lincoln over there? That's Lincoln there. Oh, maybe it don't. Oh, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not sure. Right, full steam ahead, because we're not going to get to 50 before the 80, are we? I can't believe we've done two miles already. We've just been plodding the whole way. At least now we'll get up to a bit of a respectable speed. What's this? Another 170. Oh, it's a northern one. Ah, so that's obviously standing in because it's a two car. That's standing in for a 195, of course. Yeah, Magic Toad does use the two car and three car 170s standing in for 195s. As you will have noticed, if you watch my stream when we drove from uh, Edinburgh to Preston with Avanti. Avanti? How posh? Avanti. Uh, we did see a couple of 170s lurking about. Uh, and as I say, they're standing in as one, uh, 195s. Because we don't have 195s, do we? God, this thing is slow. Look at that. I mean, we are going uphill a little bit. One in 112. But still. Christ alive. Right, let's uh, let's cancel that. Quite a nice route, this one. And I do like Magic Toad scenarios as well. There's always plenty of trains to see. And I like that. He always does it off a real timetable, though. So sometimes if it's been a particularly uh, disastrous day on the network, there's not a lot of things to see. Nope, steady on, we're nearly at 60. Do 
God, this is painfully slow. I'm, uh, I'm starting to see why 158s were used on this line. But then, again, to be fair, I didn't think the East Midlands were, uh, were particularly hilly. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a, a, a bit of, bit of that. A little bit of a screenshot. You know, I love a screenshot. Just zoom back in there. Make sure that we're not missing out on any DSD action like that. Perfectly timed, that wasn't it. My goodness me. Are we not at 80 mile an hour yet? I can see why they wanted to, uh, at one point, sub this route out so the Nottingham to Liverpool bit would be run by Trans Pennine Express, because 185s would be yomping up here, wouldn't they? I mean, the fuel bill would be absolutely huge, but, uh, but yeah, there'd be no messing about like this with a 185, would there? It'd be fung straight off. You know, we're just going to get to 80 mile an hour, aren't we? And it's going to be time to just start slowing down for Ilkeston. Yeah, just for this 30 look. I wonder if that's where we join back onto the main line. There we go, we'll just coast. Coast for a little bit. Might even have to break, like I say. Going downhill now, we've just come over the top of the mound. Yeah, I still can't believe that. We've just literally got up to speed. And now it's like, oh yeah, back down to 30. Of course, Northern run down here, don't they? Because they run the leads to Nottingham services. Well, yeah, we've already passed a Northern, haven't we? It's always interesting because, like I said, I'd never been down to Nottingham, so it's quite nice from a train sim perspective because um, when I was a Northern guard over at Leeds, I used to work the Nottingham services, but only as far as Sheffield being a Leeds guard because it was only the top link or the higher up link that signed down to Nottingham. So, obviously, I'd work these Nottingham trains and announce all these places, and I've absolutely no idea where half of them were. So it's quite nice on train sim to be able to actually say, oh, so that's where it goes, is it? We're speeding a little bit, but it's fine. There we go. We got down to 30 in the end, didn't we? Where are we on the map now? Ah, yes, yeah, so we're just joining the line that comes up from Derby here. Derby's just further down. Is, is it the line from Derby? I don't know. Wait, that's a tight corner, isn't it? And we're going back to 45 to go back to 30 again. Where are we now? Is that Derby? Yeah, that's Derby. Flipping it. Yeah, ignore me. We're not on the line that comes up from Derby. We join up there just before uh, Chesterfield. I think Chesterfield's about here, isn't it? Is it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's there. That's why. Oh, we're coming right across. Yeah, sorry, I'm spending quite a lot of time looking at the map there because I'm uh, completely clueless when it comes to this section of the world, so it's quite nice to just familiarise myself with where we are. Now, I'm not hopeful that in a mile and a half, or under a mile and a half, we'll get up to full speed in this 170, but we'll uh, we'll give it a good go. I reckon we could be quite early here into Wilkeston. I'm wondering after Alfredson if we're going to get held because uh, obviously these it's saying what time we should arrive at the top in the uh, in the briefing but these it's not got a timing on it so maybe we're going to be late I don't know mm. bit late wasn't it but uh, never mind 
we go. Bit of coasting now. We're still going to be really early, aren't we? We're not due in until 7.59. Right, here we go. It's quite a nice little station. Got a road bridge, nice straight platforms, easy for dispatch, no signals in either direction. How easy. I realise we're perhaps coming in a bit slow, but it's not the end of the world. Well, it's quite a modern looking station, isn't it? Got those, uh, yeah, unless it's just been redone, but yeah, this looks like a fairly modern station. Newish platforms, they don't look like they're falling apart, which is a nice change. Yeah, with the ramps, the, the metal, the, you know, everything, everything's very DDA compliant, isn't it? So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that this is a fairly modern station. I mean, the signs are a little bit grubby, but, uh, but hey-ho. Very weird seeing a cross-country service here. Ooh, what's coming the other way? Some wagons without a 66 on the front. That's odd, because I didn't get any errors when I installed the scenario. Maybe it'll load in as they get closer. No, it is just literally some runaway wagons. I wonder if I should report that to the signaller. Just, just wagons. Ah, dear me. I wonder if they're just going to roll all the way to London St Pancras. Flipping heck, it's an NRM on there. I don't know how to work that. Oh, I don't know how to work that. Are they, are they carrying on? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I don't know how to work the NRM. If it were a GSMR, I could press an emergency uh, beep boop message thing. But no, NRM, I'm clueless. Absolutely clueless. Yeah, this is an emergency call. We're, uh, we're struggling. I don't know what they could do with that other than just let it roll. They could possibly purposefully derail it. Yeah, it'll be me missing some sort of asset, won't it? But like I say, when it loaded the scenario, it didn't come up with any errors. Usually it does, doesn't it? How strange. Right, is it time to go? Yeah, flipping it. You get a lot of waiting time, don't you? There we go. Right, off we go. Have you noticed on the 170 when you're in notch 5 here, if you go into notch 7, the uh, the revs on the bottom go up from 1.6, whatever it is, to 2,100 RPM. But the actual engine sounds sound no different. Do you reckon that's a bug with the pack? Or are they actually like that? I'm not too sure. Oh, there's an East Midlands here, or it's a 66 that's chasing his carriages. It's like, oh, I knew I'd forgotten to do something. Oh, yeah, it's a 66. Albeit with some more wagons on, Sophie, so they're not his carriages. Intermodal, isn't it, that? Freightliner, lovely. Oh yeah, all boxes. They make a great sound, don't they, when they're going past freight trains? I know we don't really drive a lot of freight on here, do we? I'm, I'm not that keen, I like them to, to see. 
But in terms of driving, I always prefer passenger work. I just think it's so much more interesting. Freight work, you just always take forever to get anywhere. And then when you do get there, it's, you know, you just, oh, dear me, you lose the will to live, don't you? I get why it's probably quite interesting, like, as a real life driver. Because, um, you know, there's always lots to do in there. There's shunting, there's coupling, there's uncoupling, there's, you know, you're always getting brought down, so there's plenty of driving involved. You're not just sat looking at green signals, like you imagine Avanti West Coast or LNER, it's just green, 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 all the time. Freight, so you're always in and out of loops, you've got a massive route card, you know, so you go plenty of interesting places. But yeah, just, it's, it's never really struck me as something I'd find, you know, just chugging along at maybe 40, 50 ish if you're lucky give that little chap on the bridge a wave waving at trains I hope Oh, look at this. I love it. So obviously we've got two fast lines and a slow line there. So this will be the down the down main, the up main there, and then the up slow on the other side. Although, to be fair, it looks like that might be bi-directional because there's a signal there. Yeah, okay. Well, ignore me then. Obviously, I don't know what I'm on about. Yeah, it is bi-directional because there's a signal on both sides on the right. So maybe that's not uh, not not linked up with this at all. Oh, hang on, we've got a station here, and we're not stopping. What's this, then? Is it Langley Mill? Oh, it is Langley Mill. Look at that. Brilliant. Right, well, Staggered Station, Langley Mill. Because the northern... Yeah, northern services stop at Langley Mill, don't they? That's where I've seen it before. I was racking my brains thinking, where do the northern ones say they stop? Alfreton, Langley Mill, Ilkeston. Yeah. Not all of the northern stop at, Lang uh, at Ilkeston, do they? I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. This stops at Dromfield, doesn't it? Yeah. That's actually a fairly express service, isn't it? You get, uh, you get quite a distance between stops. I tell you, I am looking forward to the Hope Valley, though, since I've been playing... Uh, since I've actually signed the Hope Valley line, because we, we run down the Hope Valley line now, it's, I am really looking forward to seeing it in Train Simulator. I was never that bothered about it, but it is very pretty. Once you get past Hazel Grove, anyway. When you're kind of around suburban Manchester, it's a little bit naff, isn't it? But, you know, there's not a lot to see. There's just buildings, buildings, buildings. But when you get past Hazel Grove, wow wee, the, uh, the scenery is just absolutely beautiful. Really is nice. I've not had the chance to work one down there in winter yet. But, uh, yeah, I imagine when all the snow's out, it just, oh, wow, look absolutely fantastic. Right, there we go, we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of braking, down to 70. Never feels like you're going that fast in this, does it? I don't feel like we're doing 75 now. We're not doing 75 now, we're doing 72. Alright, well, if you want to be pedantic. But we've got some limited clearance signs on the bridge there. Just Trains really have done a good job with this. I didn't used to like Just Trains routes. Pers you know, personally, I thought Great Western Main Lines, not Great Western Main Lines, just Western Main Lines, I thought the scenery always left quite a lot to be desired. Um, you know, there was a lot of parts where the scenery wasn't particularly brilliant, but the Midland Main Line route, wow we. I mean, like I say, I've not signed any of this, I don't know any of this really, but the scenery is just so much better. It feels real, you know, and that's what you want in a route. That's what I always look for, how real. You know, what's the realism like here? And if it's brilliant, 
then fantastic. You know, the little attention to details, the limited clearance signs, the, the sign that life is there. There's nothing worse driving a train on a route that feels like it could be on Mars, you know, because it's just, it's completely devoid of life. wonder where that goes. Any guesses? Let me know in the comments, as always. I'm, uh, I'm always intrigued to learn more about the Great British Rail Network. Oh, Great British Railways, that's a bit frightening, isn't it? Shudder at the prospect. Right, off we go, full steam ahead. Back up to 80. I wonder if we'll get higher than 80. We should do at some point, shouldn't we? Because we'll be joined the. It will be uh, after Alfreton. Is it Chesterfield? Let's have a look. Yeah, Chesterfield. We should get to 100 by Chesterfield, shouldn't we? Maybe not by Chesterfield, but after Chesterfield. We've got another couple of minutes at Alfreton. Will we get to 80, though? That's the question. I think we will. Come on, little train, you can do it. Oh, and all of a sudden we can't see where we're going. Come on, 80, and then we'll start braking. That'll do for me. Right, stop. Per step two. <laughs> Straight down, using the tunnel as a braking point. I wonder if that's where they break in real life. Leave it on step two. Oh, that'll be fine. We're blasting into Alfreton, aren't we? Problem is, though, is that we're massively early again now. Oh, is this another East Midlands Railway? There's a lot of 170s about today, isn't there? Where's he going? Is he on a Norwich? Oh, he's on a Matlock. Right, okay. I don't know where that is. It's in the East Midlands, isn't it? CCTV camera on the side there. Oh, hang on, that's a five car board, so we'll, we'll just stop there. SDO5. Well, if it can fit a five car there, it should be able to fit a three, shouldn't it? Ooh, let's have a look. Can we get a nice picture going the other way? No. A little bit dark, isn't it? A little bit in the shade. Lots of shade. There we go. We'll have a have another photo there. They've hired quite a few in recently, haven't they? Yeah, East Midlands. They've got uh, some Northern Livery One Five Sixes. It's obviously uh, you see on the. East Midlands trains 158s because they've uh, they've got the old stagecoach livery, haven't they? They've got obviously this cross country one. There's there's quite a few with EMR Regional slapped on the side. I don't know about you, but personally, I don't care for the new livery. Um, I I just that EMR Regional EMR Intercity. I just don't like it. I think the purple is so drab. It just looks so bleh. and the white on the 158s. And, uh, of course, the Meridians and the Adelantes. Not Adelantes, sorry, because they're technically Caradias, aren't they? Caradia 1000 family. I think Adelante was just a name given to them by first group. Um, but actually, they're part of the Caradia family. Caradia, Caradia. Um, but, yeah, you know, that, that white, with mainly white, which is always dirty. Literally, it is the colour of the ballast with that purple on the front. I'm just not a lover at all. I mean, it's literally, he's come dressed in East Midlands uniform, hasn't he? Maybe he's a dispatcher that's on the phone. Uh, you need to stand behind the yellow line, please, sir. Oh, 
but yeah, I think when you look at the East Midlands trains livery that was so bright, Stagecoach really did have a lovely livery. And I'm not a massive lover of Stagecoach, but you can't deny that livery did look flipping good. There we go. And straight up to notch seven. Now, Chesterfield, 10 mile away. I wonder if we're going to get stuck in traffic. 10 mile, 10 minutes. Or 10 mile, 12 minutes, actually. Who knows? I wonder if we'll be brought down to uh, to, to the junction, waiting for some intercity stuff. I wonder. Come on, train, off you go. Is this another station? I'm, I'm intrigued what this line is on the right, because obviously it's still in use by the looks of things. Oh, hang on. Because uh, there's a crossover there, and is, uh, is there another one? I just can't quite see. Yeah, there is, look. So you can 15 mile an hour, flipping it, not fast at all. I wonder where that goes then. Let's have a look. Does it just stay with us the whole way? Up and, up and down slow. Right, so obviously it is bi-directional. We get stopping stuff on there, I imagine. And then this is the fast where we go blasting past. Fast, blast and past. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Flipping heck. Well, I suppose if it works, if there's not a lot of services, then an up and down slow works, doesn't it? Saves having four tracks. I guess when you've only got single track like that, it's okay until it's not okay, until there's a bit of disruption. And then you have a problem, don't you? Still can't believe the top speed is 80 mile an hour. Man, sure, I suppose it's not it's not a main line, is it really? Well, it is a main line, but it's not a main main line. It's not the East Midlands main line, is it? Because that goes down through Derby, and obviously the cross countries go flying down there as well. Whereas this is a cross country East Midlands railway. It's a hybrid of the two. I literally th I keep thinking those red signals and yellows coming uh, for me. I wonder if that means something's waiting. Oh no, it's not. The up and down slow disappear here. Yeah. Okay, well that's a good enough reason for a red signal, I suppose. I think that noise of the, uh, the metal wheels on the rails that you can just hear in the background I think sounds absolutely brilliant. I love it on the Pendolinos, it's such a loud noise, isn't it? As you're flying down the West Coast Main Line. I used to get it on the Mark 4s as well, with uh, l &ER. I've not been on a Mark 4 in absolutely ages though, probably not since it were Virgin Trains East Coast. Flipping it, that is going back a few years, isn't it? Oh, steady on. In just over one and a half mile, we can go up to 90. Oh, lovely. Happy days. But of course, we do need to slow down to 70, don't we? Oh, it took us that long to get to 80 mile an hour. We don't want to slow down to 70.
There we go, flying round. We've got a banner repeater, which implies that there's a signal round the corner, and it's showing a proceed aspect. God, we're not hanging about here, are we? Where, whereabouts are we, I wonder? Are we joining on somewhere? That would explain the 70. Ah, here we go. So this is the East Midlands main line, possibly, probably. We'll see, depending on what we see. Right, so, straight into notch 7 now, because we've got a 90. So yeah, I think that these lines on the left have come up from Derby. So we'll see things like meridians, cross countries, plenty to see. Now, I wonder, are we going to get to... <laughs> Do you reckon we'll get to 90 mile an hour before... Uh... Oh, hang on, we've got a yellow signal here. We might not get to 90. We're going to have to start slowing down, aren't we? There we go, we'll just have a bit of coasting. Bit of notch one down to 70, maybe. See, these might always display this aspect, but it has to be said, I'm not too familiar with the area. So we'll just take it, we'll just play it on the uh, the edge of caution, yeah? That is single red, so we'll, uh, single red, single yellow, so we'll, we'll continue with our braking. Down to about 50, would you say? I reckon about 50. And we'll be prepared to stop, basically. With this showing a single yellow, then obviously the next signal for us is most likely to be a red signal. We don't want to go blasting through, do we? Not after we've come this far together, anyway. I reckon that we're going to go over, like, into the left-hand side, but I reckon we're waiting for, like, a southbound express service. Because, of course, whilst this is a long-distance express, isn't it, pretty much uh, Norwich all the way through. Ah, here we go, here's East Midlands. Yeah, whilst this is an express service, oh, here we go, we've got it. Obviously, it's not as intercity as this. Here we go. Oh, we've got a green. Lovely. And we're going straight across. That's fantastic. Surely we're not going over at 95. Oh, we're not. But you could take this at 70. me no man. I don't think I'd want to take it at 70, to be honest with you. Oh, well, look out for the Crooked Spire, won't you? Coming into Chesterfield. Oh, there it is on the left. I don't think it was meant to be like that. I think it just happened. funny, the first time I came through Chesterfield, I, uh, I seem to remember it being bigger, the station being bigger, but obviously I remember incorrectly, but um, the first time was when there was, uh, we were, I was with my granddad who was on the railway at the time, I was only, uh, I think I was only 15, 16 maybe, so flipping at 10 years ago now, good lord, um, <laughs> but we decided to go down on the East Coast main line to London from Leeds and then across to Euston, up to Glasgow on the West Coast Main Line. No, it won't have been up to Glasgow. It'll have been up to Manchester and then back across doing like a circuit because at one point we'd gone uh, west to Manchester, up to Glasgow, across to Edinburgh and back down. So we thought we'd do the other bit of the circuit and uh, unfortunately there was a Class 66 fire at Milton Keynes. So the West Coast Main Line was shut in its entirety. So we ended up... Here we go. 
yeah, we ended up going up the uh, up the Midland Main Line, which was absolutely hammered. It was so busy, full of people. But um, yeah, we ended up going up the Midland Main Line, and uh, obviously, my me, me granddad was telling me about look out for the crooked spire of Chesterfield. So that, that was that. But I seem to remember it having a canopy and stuff like that. But obviously, I'm, I'm mistaken because it doesn't, as you can see. But uh, yeah, that's the first time I went on a Meridian and the first time I went up the Midland Main Line and we went all the way to Sheffield and then ended up on uh, on some northern thing up to Huddersfield. Well, I say some northern thing, it were a 158. There we go, right, power. What time were we meant to leave Chesterfield? 21? Oh, we're a little bit late. Dromfield at 27. I don't think we're going to get there in time, are we? Oh, well. It's only a guideline now. We can just kind of get there whenever. We've got ticks for everything, which is good. Good news all around. It does have a bit of a funny looping sound, doesn't it? The uh, When the engines are on, you just hear the, the same sound effect, or the same engine sound loop over and over again. It's quite in, in close succession. I'd, I'd have thought AP had kind of updated that by now, but you can hear it going... You know what I mean? If you're driving these for long periods of time... Oh, here's another 195, look. Two car, 170. Flipping heck, have we been going half an hour already? Because obviously the Nottinghams are every hour, aren't they? Dear oh dear me, plenty of trains. Oh, well, we'll see all sorts up here. We should see Meridians. Well, we've already seen a Meridian. We should see a Voyager. Possibly. What time are the Voyagers? Yeah, we should see a Voyager. Off the top of my head. I think they tend to out of Sheffield, aren't they? Uh, maybe we won't. Oh, we should see one that's come by Doncaster, if uh, if that's not been cancelled. Oh, green lights all the way. That is a good thing about running the uh, stopper slash semi-express service is that you're mostly on green signals, aren't you? Stuff like this. I mean, uh, a lot of the trains across countries and the fast East Midlands railway services are uh, Chesterfield, next stop Sheffield. So if we're stopping at places like Dromfield, is there somewhere else down here? Not just Dromfield. I'm, I'm not sure. I think there might be. I can't remember to tell you the truth. Maybe there's not. We'll find out if we go blasting through somewhere. The problem is now is that we can't make it up the hill, look, we've got it on full power. It's 90 mile an hour and we're stuck at 75.7. We can't go any faster. This is like our optimum speed for this hill. Although it is a 1 in 100 hill, so it's quite a, uh, quite a steep one. They've never been the quickest of the 170s. Oh, we're slowing down, 75.6. Oh no! Come on, little unit, you can do it. Yeah, we're not getting to 90 before Dromfield, are we? There were me thinking we might get to 100 at some point throughout this journey.
Ah, it's holding 75.6 though. This is where it drops again, isn't it? Flipping heck, Dromfield's on a hill, it might not get going. There we go, we'll just... Bit of coasting, bit of notch one. Or step one, sorry. Oh, we need a bit of full service here. That's me thinking I'd be able to get... Ah, uh... oh, there we go. Nothing to panic about. Dromfield. Dromfield. Again, another station I've never been to. I've never stopped at. But uh, there was a lass when I was on my northern training course back in the day. Uh, that, that came from Dromfield, bless her. I think she's still a guard at Sheffield now. Oh, off we go. Notch three, come on. Is it going to roll backwards? Yes, it is. Obviously, on the actual thing, you've got your nice little, uh, nice little button on the end. Ooh. Got a nice little button on the end to stop them rolling back, but uh, I don't think we can do that on train sim. Either that or we can. There's another button to press, but I can't remember which one. Come on, train! Sheffield, six and a half miles. Flipping heck, have we been going all that time already? Nearly 50 minutes. How on earth does that happen? Where does the time go? If you also, if you are interested, there is a link in the description where you can download this scenario if you want to have a go at it at home. Oh, what's this for? Keep going. Oh, you can you can even see on that white line on the uh, on the hood about how we get to the top here. I think we go in the tunnel near the top, don't we? Ah, yeah, there we go. Then we'll get up to ninety, just in time to slam it on back down to uh, back down to seventy when we come out the other end. Long tunnel, this one, over a mile, isn't it? And then we're plunged into darkness. Absolutely plunged into darkness. I don't think we're going to get to 70, even though it's a little bit of a downhill. Oh, no, sorry. We'll get to 70, but I don't think we're going to get up to 90. Look at that rate of acceleration. Shot up, then. Oh, hang on. There we go. Look at that, speedos romping up. Do you know what? We'll just go to 70 and hold it there. Because there's no point slamming on again, is there? Obviously it's downhill, so we're going to have to keep braking. And easing off, and braking and easing off. I don't think we're actually that far away from Totley Junction. Totley Station Junction, Door Junction, I can never remember which one it is. But basically where the uh, where the Hope Valley joins. 
No, it's Totley Tunnel. I think it's Door Junction, Door Station. And that makes a triangle. Look, there you go. That's going off there and round. Door and Totley Station on your left here. And if you're ever at Dor and Totley, if you ever get a train that stops there, just poke your head out of the doors on an evening, because there's an Indian restaurant nearby, and oh my goodness me, when you stood there on the platform, you can just smell this Indian restaurant. Oh, I mean, I'm hungry now thinking about it. Flipping heck, it, it just smells brilliant. But of course, none of our trains, I'm really hoping that one day my train breaks down there. So that I can, uh, so that I can go to the Indian restaurant and get something to eat. I really, really, I'm hoping one day we break down there. Cause you never stop there long enough to, to, you know, nip off and get something, do you? Every time I'm like, come on, just like all the train doors just fall off or something, and oh dear, never mind, we'll have to go and get some food. Come on, never happens, never happens. But uh, maybe one day I'll get lucky. Well, we're going to get to 90, aren't we, down into Sheffield today? That's good news. I am so looking forward to the Hope Valley, where we can drive back out the other way, all the way to Manchester. It'd be fantastic, Nottingham, all the way to Liverpool. Obviously, you'll have to uh, Nottingham up to Sheffield, change ends and back to uh, Piccadilly, and then we've got via Warrington. You'll be able to do the whole route that Transpennine were going to do, because they were going to do, uh, I think, was it a Belly or Great Ranglia? We're going to do Norwich to Nottingham. And then Transpennine we're going to take over Liverpool via Warrington to uh, to Nottingham. They were going to split the route, weren't they? And then they're not anymore. A bit weird, but, uh, but there you go. Look at that, flying. Fastest we've been all day. There we go, we'll have a bit of step one. Just down to 70. There we go. Down to, uh, well, down to 50. And this could be a red, so we'll uh, we'll treat it as a red. And of course, you can. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you do see the trams just uh, on the right here. Plod around nice and slow. No rushes. Uh, where are we? I can only ever remember what it looks like from the back cab. Oh yeah, you can just see the trams here, just in front. But obviously keep braking, Joe. Don't get distracted, because like I say, there's uh, oh, there's a red signal. Now... Signal that danger's denied. The only reason I say that is because, of course, this changes ends, so you never know whether you might be brought in on top of something. Just take it nice and steady up to the signal. We'll even put the DRA on. There we go. We can't possibly set off now. Oh, and there's no AWS after this, look. Like Birmingham New Street. No AWS in Sheffield Station, I didn't know that. Man, sure, I've had no cause to know that, have I? But, uh, yeah, every day's a school day. Nice to see as well with the 170s, the uh, the door power comes on under 3 mile an hour. So they're very much like the 185s, well, the zero units in general. The door comes on under 3 mile an hour on those, doesn't it? There we go. Right, well... Now we just sit here, I guess, and wait for our platform to become available. 
I can't think of what leaves at this time from Sheffield. I don't know the times off by heart at all. But uh, yeah, I can't think of what leaves that will be causing us to be sad out here. But uh, I'm sure we'll see in a moment. Yeah, we could be sat here a few minutes. We've got uh, five minutes, five and a half minutes until we're doing. There we go, just sat here, just sat here. Cross country 170 at Sheffield, I wonder how often that's happened. Let's have a fly through. What's going off down here then? Lovely, okay, I can hear a Voyager. Where's the Voyager? Well, it's a Meridian, isn't it? Meridian, a Northern 195 stand in there, 152 in the middle. Plenty of stuff going off. Got a 185 in the middle that's on the uh, on the roads. So maybe Transpennine have cancelled something then, and it's been shunted in the uh, in the middle road. We've got Northern here, East Midlands over here. I wonder what's due to go then, because everything's got its tail lights on. Oh, that. There we go. Oh, I've not put that in. Uh, I've not put that in neutral. Flipping heck. Eh, hey, dear, oh dear me. Taking his time, this Meridian, isn't he? Man, sure, I guess if he can only come out of the station at 15 mile an hour. And it's quarter of a mile, isn't it, to that 15? It's quite a fair way to not have a signal. There we go. Come on then. Final leg, little 170. We've done well. Well, uh, oh, we'll just put his foot down a little bit. We can always break again for the 15, can't we? Oh, hang on. Yeah, we're going to be speeding here. TPWS will be going off. We'll have all sorts. I don't think this has TPWS, does it? The uh, Well, I know the 170s probably do. But uh, I don't think this does on train sim. Oh, hang on. Speeding. Where are we coming into? We're coming into this platform here, number five, lovely. I don't think you'll fit a three car 170 in this platform, will you? I think it's only maybe a 150 you'd fit in there. Oh, lovely. Well, do you know what? I've really, really enjoyed that, and it's practically an hour, an hour. That is uh, the length of the video today. Brilliant. Yeah, like I said, there's a link in the description if you want the 170. Uh, there's also a link in the description if you want the route. And there is a link in the description to go and download Magic Toad's fantastic scenario. Thank you so much for watching the video today. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure that you show your uh, support for the channel by clicking that like button. It'll only take you a minute, if that. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty of... Uh, of things we've got to do on train sim. I think we're going to just take it to about here and uh, and then we'll change ends, won't we, for our return through to uh, 
through to Liverpool. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio, everyone. Goodbye for now.